There's a lot of uh, things happen with our museum in a very good, good way, good manner, and we are really thankful regarding that. My name is um, Sieg Marie, and uh, I am uh, stationed sin since 1985 in the School of Armour, 37 years in uh, the School of Armour, and um, I'm currently the curator of the museum. The museum was actually established in 1994 and um, the building uh, was uh, opened by the former um, Chief of Army, uh, Lieutenant General Otto, on the 13th of September 1996. If I uh, go to the artefacts of the uh, museum itself. We have donations by individual uh, 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 members that was uh, in the Armour Corps. And um, we also have uh, our display of um, uh, 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 the, the last operations in Angola. We originated from cavalry, and uh, when you visit the foyer of the museum, uh, you will see there's a beautiful picture of uh, our uh, origin. The museum is unique in, in, in a certain way that we are not by a statical display. We have moving vehicles. And that makes a very big difference. People like to see old vehicles moving and running. And people is very proud. You know, visitors are very proud when they see restored vehicles, you know, which is very old. My, my vehicle that I look after um, was built uh, during 1942 and it's still running. Um, you know, um, what is quite interesting is that the School of Armour don't ask any visitor money, entrance money to our museum. We don't do that. And I don't, I don't really think that we, we will ever do that. The museum is open from um, seven hours in the morning till 16 hours in, uh, during, week, uh, during weekdays. <music> 